Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again, and welcome back to WWE Fans TV Recap Show. And today's recap show will be for Supergirl. So, this episode of Supergirl is entitled Pilot, like most shows that have their first episode. Okay, but. Uh, yeah, before we get into this episode, of course, spoiler warning. So, if you have not seen this episode, please do not watch this review. So, um, but if you have seen the episode, or if you just don't care about spoilers, continue on watching. So, that's a spoiler warning for you. So, yeah, let's get into the episode. So, what this episode is basically about, it's about, you know, uh, Kara, uh, I believe that's Kara, or, I believe it's Kara. Kara, uh... Some, I forgot her last name, but, you know, she um, was sent to protect kyle which is her um, cousin, you know, from Earth and everything, but she got hit into a portal that where time stops and everything, you know, time doesn't pass. And when she's sent to Earth, she basically sees that kyle is all grown up and he is fine in the world and he's Superman. So now she's trying to live her own life and trying to save the city that she lives in as well. So yeah. So what I think of this episode of Supergirl. Now this was a rewatch for me. Because I actually watched it. Back when it was leaked online. And I actually enjoyed it. When I saw it for the first time. Uh, back in June. But now. Uh, back now here in October. That I, enjoy, that I still enjoy it. I did. I still enjoyed it. I still had a fun time watching this episode. It's a very nice show. It's. It's, you know, it's a nice, light tone show. It really is. And I like that, you know. With all these superhero shows that are all dark and everything, you know, like Arrow and Daredevil. And, you know, even The Flash has its dark moments, too. It's nice to see a superhero show that has a lot of light and fun to it. And I like that, you know. So, yeah. So, let's get into my positives. And my positives are the acting with the episode. The acting's actually pretty good with the episode. Um, I thought Melissa... Bennett's, I think, I think, I, I'm i sorry if I butchered your last name, but she was really good. She's she's what makes the show, honestly. Her as Supergirl, she really does make the show, in my opinion. And I think they couldn't have gotten anybody better to play Supergirl because she's really great as the role. And I really enjoyed her in this episode because she did such a nice job. She was very funny, very quirky, very, just, you know, ways that kind of... An average or ordinary girl would act. And I like that. And she was really good in the episode. I really enjoyed her. You know. So yeah. Um, the woman that plays her older sister. I liked her. She was really good in the episode as well. The guy who plays Jimmy Olsen. Was really good as well. I really enjoyed him. He was pretty good in the episode as well. So yeah. Um, overall the acting was really good in this episode. I thought everybody did a nice job in this episode. So yeah. The action, the action was really good. I thought the action was very well filmed. You know, uh, the action was very well filmed with this episode. You know, with those two fight scenes that you see. Um, really enjoyed that. Uh, the action was great, so yeah. Um, the writing with the episode, the writing was really good with the episode. I thought the writing was pretty good with this episode, so yeah. The directing, the directing was really good with the episode. I thought the directing was really good with the episode. You know, in my opinion, so yeah. Um, you know, so yeah. But let's talk about some of the moments, of course. Let's talk about some of the moments that happen in this episode. When we see in the beginning, you know, when we see Kara and Kyle they're being put in their pods and everything. And then when you, of course, see her go through the, uh, the you know, the portal that time doesn't pass. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, you know. And then you see she's coming down to Earth and everything. I like seeing that. I like seeing kind of her origins, what happened to her in the beginning. That was really cool. I like seeing that in the beginning. So, yeah. When she has her first heroic moment, when you see her saving the plane, that was really cool. I, th I really enjoyed that scene. Very uh, well done scene, you know. Actually didn't look bad either, you know. CGI wasn't that bad. I'll, I will admit the CGI wasn't that bad with this episode either. The CGI actually was pretty good, actually. So, yeah. And, you know, her saving the plane, her struggling. Like, she's bending the thing. And, you know, I really enjoyed that. That reminded me of Superman Returns when Superman had to save the plane from crashing. That reminded me 
of that very, very much. And, uh, like seeing that in this episode, that was really cool, so yeah. When you see, you know, Kara, Kara uh, testing out her superpowers for the first time, you know, testing her out, going to these jobs like a car chase or bank robbery, I really enjoyed that. That was a nice little, um, test for her, test to test her powers, test what she has. I liked that. That was really cool in this episode as well, so yeah. Um, when she gets captured by, like, this extraterrestrial, um, hunting group, basically. You know, and she finds out that her older sister is working with this group. And, you know, the guy's like, she's a danger and everything. We'll get into that a little bit later. But, you know, uh, that was interesting seeing, you know, that she does work for this extraterrestrial group. And, you know, so yeah, I did like seeing that. Um, the first fight scene between Supergirl and, uh, Bra Braxton, I think that's what his name was, you know, I'll just call him Fire, Fire Axe Swinger, because that's what he was, really. Uh, I really enjoyed that fight scene, because it really showed that she is not invincible, she can actually, you know, she's, she's indestructible, but she can get hurt sometimes, and can lose the battle, because you're not gonna always win your first battle, and I really like seeing that, that was really cool, you know, she was really getting her butt handed to her, but I like that because it's her first fight. She needs to learn. And that was and that was great. I thought that was a really great, you know, thing for them to do. So yeah. And and it was really well filmed too, like I said. So yeah. I like the little message that she got from her mother. She gets him like uh, her older sister brings her like this thing that like sent a message to her or whatever. I really like that. That was a nice moment. She got to like see a hologram of her mother. So I like that. Then when you get to the final action scene, that was really good too, you know. This was basically her, like, I can do this now, you know, I can fight and everything. So, really well filmed, in my opinion, you know. And then when she has to, uh, she has to use her laser vision to make the, um, was it the axe hotter and hotter to explode. And that was really cool, I really liked seeing that, you know. And when it explodes, he, he's just burnt. He's just burnt to a crisp. So then he just kills himself, basically not to take punishment in jail and stuff. So yeah. And then when you get to the very, very end of this episode, you see that her aunt is working with the enemy. And, you know, they're working with her and everything. So that should be interesting to see in next week's episode. So yeah. Um, however, I do have a few negatives with this episode. My negatives are... Um, there were some girlish moments in this episode. I thought there was some very girlish stuff in this episode. And I was just like, eh. Like, just, I was iffy about it. I was like, eh. But, yeah. Um, the guy who plays, like, her friend. Like, like, there's this guy. Um, the, the actor's name is, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy something. I believe it, that's what his name is. It's Jeremy, like, I forgot his last name, but, you know, I, I he's, he stinks. He's terrible. He's awful. I'm sorry. He's awful in this episode. I got really annoyed with him, and whenever he tried to do comedy, it was garbage. It really was, so yeah. And my last negative is, is that this cliche that I'm getting tired of seeing is that this whole, can we trust them thing. It's getting really old, and especially it was really annoying in this episode when... Like, especially this one dude. Like, the um, this one dude was like, oh, we can't trust her. Oh, yeah, we can't trust her. He kept on beating us over the head with it that she, that he couldn't trust her. It was getting really, really annoying. I was, It was almost getting on my nerves. It was really that annoying to me. And I'm getting really sick of that cliche of this. Oh, can we trust them or anything? Especially in superhero shows. And it's getting really old in my opinion. So, yeah. But overall, I still like this pilot. This is a very fun pilot. Very enjoyable. I still really enjoyed it. And it's nice that kind of girls have something to look up to, really. That, like, girls have a superhero that can they can look up to, you know. Like, little girls have a superhero that they can look up to in a way. And I like that, you know. Not saying the show is just intended for little girls, you know. Look at me. I'm watching. I'm doing a recap show for you for it. So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But still, I like that. That's very nice in my opinion, so yeah. But it's time for my official grade on this episode, and my official grade on this episode is a B+. I really enjoyed it. 
Um, so yeah, this was a very enjoyable episode. Can't wait to see what next week's episode does. So yeah. So what you guys think of this episode? Leave me in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599 and we'll see you about later. Peace.